Every Monday, we go through the emails we get. Drive at jacarandafm.com. Rosie, do you want to read today's? I would love to. Hi, Robin Rose. Recently, I have been living with my parents again, financial reasons. I brought a girl home and my mom is very, capital letters, upset. I feel like I'm 30 years old. I can do what I want. My mom feels like it's her house and it's disrespectful. I appreciate them, but I need them to understand that I'm an adult. Please help. What do I say to them? Kind regards, Henku. <laughs> I, I don't know. What do you say to Henku? Henku, as a parent myself. Oh, wow. Here we go. Not of anyone that's the age of bringing people home. I think that is very disrespectful. Especially if they haven't met the person before. Is it just someone you met in a bar or at a party or whatever? No, bring your demons. Now, ons heist to. Jeanette actually sent us a voice note before we even read the mail to say the following. It is basically like we live in a time where you can't trust anyone. You can't trust anyone. So bringing someone to a house where they don't know you, you are now just, you've just met this person. And you bring that person to this by disrespectful. Uh, read me his mail again, though. Yeah. Recently, I've been living with my parents again, financial reasons. I brought a girl home and my mom is very upset. I feel like I'm 30 years old. I can do what I want. My mom feels like it's her house and it's disrespectful. I appreciate them, but I need them to understand that I'm an adult. Please help. What do I say to them? Okay. Here's my thing. The way he's phrased that, I brought a girl home. I agree with you. It makes it sound like I just met you at the bar. Yes. Like a sticky kum sam. Yeah. What if it's not? What if it's someone you've been out with a couple of times and you just haven't told your parents you're seeing someone? Because me as an adult, I didn't want to tell my parents, Jack, they don't know, you know, when I was single, if I was dating anyone. Like, I didn't share, I didn't have those conversations. My- so what if it's someone he knows? And what if it's like, this is the time. We've seen each other for a month. My ear blade looks it's pretty ice. It's it's awkward. It is awkward. It might be someone he knows. It's not someone the parents know. Yeah, I can't even think of me. And now is it Sunday morning? And now sit on some old Omi Kumbai stuff. No, thanks. Absolutely not. Um, Sean says, "Henku, dala what you must, John." No, don't support this, Sean. <laughs> Jeff is on my side. The parents' house. It's their rules. I don't care if you're 30. Gail as well. No ways that's happening. My house, my rules. Yeah. This so is, do, do you think it would be okay if Henku was like, listen, mom, dad, can so-and-so come and sleep over? Nia. You don't want to have that conversation at 30 either, though. Nia. Nia. We're not arranging play dates but, at yeah. 30. And also, let let me... You, when you introduce someone to your parents of as iemand nou onder my dak gaan kom slaap vir 'n aand ek moet tenminste die mens al ontmoet het in daglig ure a breakfast you don't or want to meet lunch. a random in your kitchen making coffee first thing in the morning yeah. nobody likes yeah. that i'm um, uh, enku sorry i die bekeerde persoon gekry vandag <laughs> No. 0848500942. What is the advice that we should give to Henku? Bearing in mind, we don't know if this was a long term thing or somebody he's just met. He says he's back at home for financial reasons. From what I'm so has obviously tasted independence before, you know? Yes, but you no longer have that. So take that taste out no, of your mouth until you can be in your own space. I'm sorry, I find that very hard to wrap my head around. If I had the independence of living on my own as a grown-up, and now I had to live mommy and daddy rules, I would I would lose it. I would lose it. But then, then play I by the reels. As it mama and papa se reels, as it play by the reels, money net a random to bring them to come oh. I don't want to know. Cindy says this feels so awkward for everyone involved. Cindy, I agree with you. 0845900942. What is the correct thing to do in this situation? What advice should we give to Arma Enku for Middag? My Enku, it's a me amor. I still bring in the hours. Was never and rekne. Yeah, Monday mailbag today. This is an email we got. Hi, Robin Ross. Recently living with my parents again. Brackets financial reasons. I brought a girl home and my mom is very upset i feel like i'm 30 years old and i can do what i want my mom says it's her house and it's disrespectful i appreciate them but i need them to understand that i'm an adult please help what do i say to them kind regards enku gail has sent us a list of really nice adult responses 
As your parent, it's my job to ensure your safety and well-being. There's no more in. I want our home to be a comfortable and respectful space for everyone. I'm not trying to control you, but I need to know who's in our home for your safety and ours. And then the best one. Let's work together to find solutions that respect both your independence and our household rules. What's a nice list? Gail needs to be everybody's mom. Do you know who is not everyone's mom? Goedemiddag, afternoon drive, guys. Uh, thank you for a lovely show. Nee, kijk, die movie speel glad nie op my TV. As jy wil meisies huis te bring, gaan kry jou eie plek. Dan moet jy maar seker maak, jy is financieel stabiel. Die movie speel nie op my TV nie. Who sent us that? Shiz. Shiz, I'm stealing that. I am going to say that every day for the rest of my life. Die movie speel glad nie op my TV nie. Enkel my kind, nie ja. Dis nie jou ouwerse skuld dat jy hulle weer by hulle moes intrek nie. As jy wil polle vink, gaan doen dit by haar huis of in die achtersitplek van jou kar en dan gaan elke man na sy eie huisie toe. Dis al raad wat ek vir jou het. Polle vink! The mom's coming through strong here. Polle vink! To return to the days of the back seats. Never. Never. <laughs> miss us there entirely Yabber, these messages are killing me at oh, the moment no okay there's never going to be a better word for me than Paula Funk well what said if you are here Paula Funk is a gesels taal term what vry opsit of keier beteken Paula Funk kijk Paula Funk Hi, yeah. op jou eie achterste sit plek. 0848500942 Advice for Henko this afternoon. Or I suppose if you just want to slate him, you could do that. Find-